we will start with this, and finally, we will get this. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the basic of keying as well as 3D compositing. Start with importing video file. Grab video and place it inside layers bar. We want to key out the green background behind the actor. Go to the effects and type key. We want to use the key light effect. Grab effect and place it on video. Now we want to use the eyedropper tool to pick green color from scene. Change final result item to screen matte so you will be able to see the result in alpha space. As we can see, the result of keying isn't good as we want. To fix it, we need to change the screen mate items. We want to find ideal value between black and white. Next item is screen softness, which will make the edges much softer. Now, we want to see our final result to make sure everything looks good. To make sure, hit toggle transparency grid so you'll be able to see the key result more clearly in raw form. Now, we want rotoscope picture so the white wall will disappear. To do it, we want to zoom picture. Hit G, it will open the pen tool, which we want to use to draw a mask on layer. So everything outside mask will disappear. If you want to edit the position of curve, you can use the arrows on keyboard. The rotoscope result should look like these. Here is Photoshop part. We want to delete stuff behind window. We want to unlock the layer. Hit OK. And then zoom a little bit. Hit PS Pen Tool and then Caps Lock to better manipulation with tool. Start picking the corners of window. You can find rotoscope picture inside tutorials folder. To complete just hit the very first place you have made. Then open paths bar hit command and click on small box which show your path layer. Then just hit delete. Your completed picture should look like this. Make sure you have nothing but your picture layer. Now we have to export our picture using transparent export type. Make sure PNG export type is selected. And complete export process by hitting OK. Now it is time for 3D compositing. We want to import image of city and office.png that we created using Photoshop. Grab both files and place them down to the layers bar. The image of city needs to go under office. Now it is time to create 3D camera to be able to navigate in 3D space. We want to mark this boxes to make our layers 3D ready. Now we want to change our camera view to the side view. As we can see, all of the videos are currently in same position. We want to make 3D perspective effect, so last layer needs to go furthest. We want to place image of office between the actor and city. Hit S to scale image.
Inside camera tool list, we want to choose Track Z camera tool for zooming. As you can see, the 3D effect works well, except some small details that we are going to cover. To make this effect looks more realistic, we need to add the depth of field. Go to camera. Choose camera options and then turn on the depth of field. To set the exact position of focused area, choose left view. Now we want to set up our focus distance so everything outside will be blurry. You can add more blur to background if the result isn't as you wanted. Now, it is time to check our result more closely. As you can notice, this view process is more difficult for computer, so you may want to change your full quality view to half or quarter. Now it is time to play back our result. As we can see everything works fine, but it is still missing something. To make this shot look more attractive, we want to make some camera move. Make sure that the current time indicator is set on first frame. Open camera, go to transform item and mark the position stopwatches, so you will be able to make keyframe animation. Our camera move will be sliding from one side to another. Our second camera move will be zooming, so moving and zooming at the same time will create a better result. And here we are. Your 3D setup is completed. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.